Life to Death Sorority! A loose remake of a 70s slasher flick, Sorority Row follows five sisters dealing with the aftermath of a prank gone horribly wrong and a masked assailant who knows their secret and wants to kill them violently. Leah Pipes leads the sisters as the uber-bitchy Jessica, the sorority's alpha female. Red Carpet Crashed asked her about her start on another genre set with her work on the Buffy spinoff series Angel. God, I was 12 when that happened. <laughs> um, uh, you know, that, yeah, it's so funny that my career did start on a very kind of freaky sort of set. Um, and I, I learned a lot from that set, not just in the horror genre, just how to interact with people on a set. And um, and it was, it was an amazing experience, but it was definitely kind of eerie. And now I relate that eerie feeling to having fun and working, so I'm kind of used to it and I enjoy it, so <laughs> there you go. You've got a reputation as being a just incredibly sweet and nice person. So you're reading the script and you're seeing just what an amazing bitch that this girl is. You're sitting there pouring over the script. What's going through your head as you're getting ready to read for the part? Well, being an actress, you really love the character characters. You love the over-the-top characters. I think all actors feel that way, and she is definitely the most over-the-top in the script. So I was instantly drawn to her, obviously, and it was so fun to really develop a very different mindset than I have of just being really goal-oriented and very sophist and... I'm, you know, definitely more of a living in the now kind of person. Whatever happens, happens. Like a very low key, go with the flow. And to go opposite of that was, um, it was really interesting. I think I discovered a lot about myself. Yeah. You didn't carry any parts from her personality through the rest of your Hollywood career. I know. Like, what's so weird is she wouldn't leave my head. <laughs> like, and I wouldn't say it out loud, but I'd be walking around, and someone would say something, and I would say something in my head, so mean. And it's like Leah. Don't think that. That's so mean. And she stayed there for a while. She's starting to leave now, but I still kind of walk around and silently judge people. It's very strange. <laughs> Mrs. Crenshaw, it's me, Jessica. I know. You've had that coming for four years. Carrie Fisher is the house mom in Sorority Row, and I'm contractually obligated to ask you about the scene where she slaps the hell out of you, but there's a bit that happens right around that same time. Yes. I farted. Um, <laughs> I, I did. I, um, I <laughs> you see me swinging the axe, and it was heavy, and it took take some abs to swing that axe. And unfortunately, I really had a lot of um, apples that day. <laughs> and I just ripped one. And it was like, and everyone knew it was me. And it was so horrific smelling. And then she hits me with the tire iron. And I'm, we're all laughing hysterically. And I'm sitting there like, it's me, Jessica. Oh, my God. And they called cut. We had to clear the set for 15 minutes because it smelled so bad. I literally cleared out a set of 30-year-old men because my fart was so horrific. It was but, but that's got to awesome. be a badge of honor, though. Oh, it was awesome. Like, they respected <laughs> me on a level that was so beyond the any level they've ever respected a female young actress, yeah. Carrie Fisher actually got started really young in the industry as well, working with uh, Shampoo and then Star Wars. Did she have any, um, I, I, I hate to say words of wisdom because that sounds so trite and cliche, but did you get any wisdom from her? You know, she, it's so funny she just was wisdom, you know? She didn't need words. She just had this presence on set that was so comfortable and so understanding and just watching her um, interact with people and just watching her be truly at home on a set, um, you learn a lot. And she doesn't even really need to give you any kind of advice, she just is advice. What was your favorite weapon to wield? I mean, I know you don't just have the axe. You had to have screwed around with everything else on the set from the prop department. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, the shotgun was really cool because it was like this old school shotgun. Um, and then we had a flare gun, which was really awesome. And then um, the, uh, the actual tire iron was pretty cool. It was really tricked out. And it's funny is they were all plastic. We all had like, or we had like plastic replicas. So we would have all out fights between us girls. Just like, I will take you down with the plastic tire iron. And like, it was, so you see these girls dressed up in, you know, lingerie 
attacking each other with shotgun, plastic shotguns and axes. It was, it was super fun. Please tell me that's going to be on the DVD. Just tell me that, I, please. There's going to be so much on the DVD. I don't even know, because there was always a person there filming us, and we became best friends on this set, all of us girls. And we have, like, we were just laughing the whole time. And, um, and so I don't even know what you're going to see, but, with the, I mean... It was hilarity every single day on set, so I'm sure there's gonna be some good stuff. Out of my way, bitches! Ellie, oh oh, you've got to stop doing that. You don't scream in this movie, but you have said that there are some really good screams in this. Are you? Do you find yourself a good judge of scream at this point? Oh yeah. So if we gather like about five or six people to get their best Scream Queen audition, you would be able to uh, separate the wheat from the chaff on that. Oh, for sure. I think we all, like, all of us, all of us girls do. I mean, Brianna Evigan, terrible screamer. <laughs> she cannot scream. It's like, ah! Like, that, you just scared me. Like, this is, that's <laughs> terrible, Brie. So she didn't get to scream. And then, like, Rumor was amazing. Like, she screamed. Jamie is really good at screaming. Margo, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard her scream yet. But, you know, she was, um, she was, she's just an amazing actress. So she, she got to sing.